Hey guys, welcome back to Supernatural Sunday. Previously on Supernatural, we came across these weird instances where these childhood lies were coming true, like the Tooth Fairy, the Frank Joy buzzer, stuff like that. It turns out that it's the work of this kid who doesn't even know he has powers, and it turns out he's half demon, half human, and he's just so freaking powerful. He would be a very good asset to have in this war, but I'm not sure if we'll see him again. Who knows? We could. You never know what's gonna happen in Supernatural. That should be the tagline of the show. You never know what's gonna happen. Because it's just so, so wild. Today I'm here to watch Season 5, Episode 7. It is called The Curious Case of Dean Winchester. I assume that it's going to be kind of based on The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I've not read the novel nor watched the movie, but I've, I've been meaning to. I'm just excited for another Supernatural episode. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for 15,000 subscribers. That is... wild. Thank you so much. Wait, I'm trying to see who's in the thumbnail. Is that Bobby? Oh, it's Bobby! Let's go! I can't wait to continue on with the season, so I'm going to stop talking and get straight into the episode. Okay. That's not weird. Nice to see you too. Yeah. Oh, he's aging. That's like the one thing I do know about the story of Benjamin Button. Just like the different ages. He's gonna be an old man now. <gasps> Wait, does that mean that the old man in the thumbnail was Dean? Don't know how I made that jump. Oh shit. This is just so immediate. He was just fine when he was walking up the stairs. <laughs> CDC. I'm to believe you're CDC. Meet Xavier. Date of birth, April 3rd, 1984. Wait, so it is late 20s? They're on sunscreen. So what's your theory? All I know is to see this male, 25 years old. Bobby! Yeah, yes. You got it. And by the way, how are you doing? Doing? Yeah. Sorry, right, Joey Tribbiani. How you doing? Well, I'm just weeping in my hogging dog. Idiot. Bobby. In a bar. Tuesdays, he always wears his band aid. He always comes straight home. Hmm. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It's <laughs> gooey. Sam. The same tattoo. No, you just clenched your jaw. You definitely do. Wait, did he D H? If you when you get younger, if you lose, you age. Gives me twenty five these weirdo poker chips, right? Chance some mumbo humbo over them. Says now they're twenty five years. Oh, you either lose or gain. What does this miracle worker look like? Just a guy, maybe thirty five, brown hair. Oh, that narrows it down. Seems bad. All right. Oh, that actually does narrow it down. But twenty five years? He looks like he's in his thirties. The picture, he looked like he was in his 70s, 80s, crazy, right? for 25 no, years. He feels useless because he can't do anything. Oh, but he's gonna go do something. It's your turn to grab dinner. Usual. Extra bacon. <laughs> My friend Ben told me you'd know. Don't know any Ben. Sure, he did. I'm balding, smart ass. He sure seems to know you. Ben. It's Bobby. Oh, hi, Bobby. How'd you get here so quick? And you beat me. <laughs> Brains Trump's legs, apparently. Not exactly. Oh no. What did you do? I played. Bobby! And you lost. And? I lost. <sighs> he 
He looks like, um, what's his face from Parks and Rec? What's his face? He voices Sonic. Dean. No, they're my years. I can do what I want. Volume 25 years. Oh, when the first guy just. Make it 50. Oh my god, Dean! I like the cost of your jab. Dean! That's 25 years. They go to him. He's cashing out. Dean? Bobby. Last 25 years, you just pissed away. I'm <sighs> sure you can win back. You might say. He's doing a really good Dean. You look like an old chick in Titanic. Shut up. I was gonna say for a Right, I should have just let you die. And for damn sure nobody asked you to lose. It's like Herbie on this. Shut up, Sam. And there's an archangel there wanting me to drop the soap. Look at me, my junk's rustier than yours. You hear me, belly aching, huh? Actually, yeah. It was the extra bacon that did it. What is it? Acid reef. <laughs> Guys your age can't digest certain foods. You're gonna need to put down that cheeseburger. <gasps> I don't wanna grow old. Keep me molding. Steal me 50. Benjamin Buttons me back into the burger <laughs> shape. On anything that moves, too. <laughs> You're adorable. And dangerous. There he goes. His face. I gotta say, I gotta like the guy. <laughs> he has to know you're following him. Well, I'm out. Ah, uh, I'd be out too. <laughs> oh no. That's that's a bit ominous. Just the candle. Why are there so many candles lit? You can't hear that well though. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's that easy. What are you doing? <gasps> oh shit. Yeah. Boys want chips? Take them. They're useless. Just call it the old fashioned way. Texas home. Right. <laughs> Dean! It. You're going to die if you if you lose. What card am I holding? <laughs> That's what I thought. But Sam, not much of a player. Okay, well, happy trails, Dean. I can't let you leave without a small party. Come on. Patrick. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> He's having the time of his life. What's well, left of it, at least. I still think I should play. You're not good enough. I'm better. Bobby. Thanks, Dean. Look, I watched you hustle plenty of poke. Knowing the game is not enough, Sam. It's not about playing the cards. It's, it's about playing, playing him. Guy. I know yeah. that. You'll die if you lose, Bobby. So what if I do? Huh? What exactly am I living for? Here it huh? is. I ain't a hunter no more. I'm useless. And if I wasn't such a coward, I stuck a gun in my mouth the day I got home from the hospital. Sam. What is this? The most powerful reversal spell you've ever laid your eyes on. You saying I could be normal again? You and everyone else he's ever played. Oh. What's the catch? We trust, you? trust me, don't trust me, I don't care. The spell is real. The Why are you doing this? 
Do it quick. What's that? Oh, Sam's off to play. I'm right, I thought it was Sam. I mean, he can always cheat. He has magic, he could always cheat. Thanks, Patrick. Asher is gonna live to see his granddaughter's bat mitzvah, isn't that right, Ash? Why is he doing this and yet killing some people? What's his reasoning? It's nice of you. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Yes, I love a good grave digging. And he's not strong enough to be able to dig this on his own. Yep, there goes the bones. I can tell a lot about a guy by looking. You mean you're psychic? No, about him cheating. You're not that little brother anymore, son. He's trying to get into his head. Playing in percentages. But I'm still gonna kick your ass into the nursing home. Does this armchair psychology routine usually work for you? Was it a play? Is it a plan? Do they want this to happen? Is it a fake spell? What's going on? It's supposed to be the most powerful reversal spell. I don't think it's gonna work so easily. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Okay, she actually looks worried and concerned. No. Nice. Nice bluff. I mean minutes. It's over. Now where's my brother? Look, there's poker and then there's suicide. Just play the hand. He's won this. Yes. Has four fours. Four of a kind. Let's go. Dean, you hear me? He's back. <gasps> there he is. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> is that a baby picture? It is. Mind tricks. How the hell? Should have called you an idiot. Which time? I'm saying, you know, if I was in your shoes, never stop complaining. Yeah. Fair enough. Hey, no matter what shape you're in, bottom line is, you're family. Don't you dare think about checking out. I don't want to hear that again. Thanks. Now we done feeling our feelings, because I'd like to get out of this room before we. Start growing lady parts. You got anything that's real? My boobs. Let's go iron status. Well, that one's sticking, huh? So that was season five, episode seven of Supernatural. That was an interesting episode. I like the concept that instead of playing poker or, you know, betting with money, you know, betting with their lives, and that's probably even more, I think that's even more enticing than money because, you know, most people would, you know, would kill to be younger. So I liked how this episode kind of dealt with the theme of morality, especially how, you know, in their line of work, it's so, you know, anything can happen because it's just so full of dangerous things and, you know, the apocalypse is coming. It really hurt seeing Bobby struggle this whole episode, just feeling useless and then finally at his breaking point with it and then having the talk with Sam and Dean, I think that was just something necessary to hear and see. But he's still such an essential part of the team of the show. And even though he can't 
move as he used to, you know, he still is himself, his brains, his advice, his comfort, he's family for Sam and Dean, so I think it was really nice for, you know, Dean to communicate that to Bobby at the end of this episode. I felt very conflicted about the antagonist of this episode because, well, first of all, there were two of them, Patrick and Leah, but Leah, she, she was showing very clear signs of worry and discomfort and just wanting to get out of the situation, wanting to stop it. And Patrick, he really cares, you know, he does care for her. And I think the more he does this with the years, the more he gets addicted to it. Because it is gambling and gambling is addictive. I don't know, I think he just does it for the thrill of it. But he's not like a all around bad guy because you know, he gave that guy enough years to see his granddaughter's bar mitzvah. And I was like, oh, that was really nice. Like, why'd he do that? And, you know, he didn't have Dean play again because he was, you know, very close to death. That was a good episode. And I feel even more intrigued to watch the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I'm excited to see where the season goes. I'm going to continue bi-weekly reactions and hopefully I can build up to weekly because I do want to watch more of the show, but I also know that if I overcommit myself, I'm just... It's not gonna work out well. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also be sure to check out my film channel, Yasmina Zinedine. It'll be in the description down below. All right guys, I will see you with the next video. Bye.